Hi, everybody, and we are happy to see you again. Uh, my name is Elena and Amy here. Hi. Nice to see you guys again. And um, as I promised you, I want to show you my favorite, favorite perfume today of my um, Chanel collection. And we are going to talk with Amy about Chanel. Just I love share. Chanel. <laughs> Just share with you. And let's start. Uh, the first one, and probably uh, I will tell you something about what you probably never heard about it, okay? And first one, as you know, what is the most popular Chanel, what do you think? For me, Chanel number no. 5. Okay, then let's start with Chanel number no. 5. Do you know when it was released, like, first time? Can you, can you guess? 1982. 1921. That's what I meant. <laughs> I was testing. Can you her? Can you imagine that it's the next year will be hundred years of celebrating this? Happy amazing. anniversary, Chanel number five. Yes, and I can't imagine like what they are going to do with this number, with this anniversary. Like, what they want to make. That'll be amazing. Yeah, because um, okay, I have how many varieties of Chanel number no. five I have. It's an Eau de Toilette. Actually, it's really, really uh, similar to original one. It's exactly like how Chanel number no. five was smell. Do you want to smell on um, testers? Like on um, mm, paper? That's nice. I love I can't believe it's from 19, you said 1921. 21. 21st, yeah. That's insane. Oh, I love it. What do you feel like? What do you, like, this one, um, a very dear friend actually bought this one for me for Christmas because we were shopping together and I went, oh my gosh, this smells so good. And it just reminds me of Christmas. It reminds Which one me of she bought for you? Chanel number no. five. Which one? Like, is it, is it look exactly like this or how it look? Oh, that's a very good question. It actually looks, it's this one, this one here. Of course, this she one? has a million different kinds. Mm -hmm. She bought this one for me. So this, this is out of premiere. This is from 2015. It's why Amy said it's probably 80 something, but it's 2015 when is they try to release and to refresh remembering, like um, remembering of uh, Chanel number no. five. I'm learning so much. <laughs> yeah, and really make, cool. make this perfume from uh, earlier, like a uh, century 20s, like um, to make us like to, to expire people, like young people to start to. And, to and I did. Don't forget about this perfume. So is this one try a different, it's a different, it's really similar, but it's a little bit lighter, more citrusy, a little bit more modern. And you can compare. Hmm. This is exactly like Chanel number no. five, but Oh different. yeah, it's it's so different. Yeah, it's sweeter, like sweeter, a little bit more flower, flowery, um, citrusy. <clears throat> But um, I don't know how I will explain you, but I really want to share with you uh, one of um, favorite because it was 1921, and um, but years before we had another perfume in Russia, and before uh, Chanel number no. five, it was. Um, another perfume made and it's called uh, Red Moscow mm. and this perfume actually wasn't like first one first one was really similar and it's called uh, another name it's called by like um, 
flower bouquet for imperatrice. Mm. Yeah, and it was like long before like revolution. Um, okay, can I test you like on of your course. wrist? Because it's no, and oh. <laughs> if you try to compare, okay, just wait. And this is, we want to make just test. This is red Moscow. It reminds you like us, like Russian people, like most um, popular perfume long, long, long ago, like in the beginning 20th centuries. And we take this perfume number five and just want to make a test like another wrist. And tell me if you feel any, any similar to similarities. Like, I, was I not supposed to smell it? Because just a little bit weight, just a little bit weight, and then yeah. What? <laughs> okay. And then just close your eyes. Okay. So I smell this one mm -hmm. first. Wow, they they smell similar. Mm, this one is sweeter. This one is muskier. Yeah. This and one has a darker sort of more yeah. mysterious mm -hmm. kind of tone to it, like a note. Mm, that's amazing. When was this one made in Russia? Oh my God. I know that it was before made like in Russia in the beginning, early, 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 um, um, like 19th century, like no, no 20th century, like 19th okay. something. Yeah. And then they made uh, Chanel number no. five, and you know sometimes um, when it's uh, perfumes created and released, some perfumes inspired like mm -hmm. in another one. Yeah. It's like notes, yeah. uh, feelings, and like characteristics, and then it's just yeah. What do you? What can you tell like about it? Like what you feel? Warm warmth. It's very warm. It's like sitting by a fire, all cozy. Mm -hmm. so, it's a yeah, a warm kind of dark, comforting feeling. Mm -hmm. Can I smell too? Mm -hmm. It's a really like oriental, like perfume. Yeah, just. I we... see what you mean there. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's hard and to describe. One. <laughs> and this one's sweeter. Sweeter and like in one like it's interesting sweets and citrusy comes together and kind of like a hux it tells mixture. us like this mixture mm -hmm. yeah like mm -hmm. this wow okay and this is like another story and when um what has happened when uh, when they made like a um, Chanel number no. five premiere then they make another perfume it's a low perfume it's with 2018 they made a uh, three kind of perfumes premiere chanel number no. five and low this is like a red collection and they make made it in a three bottles it's beautiful it's gorgeous mm -hmm. and this perfume low was made like and created like even for even more younger people like for girls. <laughs> then see, Chanel number no. five is now available to wear in like for any any kind of like different um, wow. ages. Yeah, it's still it's still notes you mm -hmm. can recognize. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's for me. It's more subtle. It's very light and it's low. Yes, low. Do you like bottle? I really like the bottle. It's <laughs> red one. Yes, <laughs> it's very nice. Yeah, let's go forward. Um, another nice and I just yes. interested. Like, do you know this? Yes, Coco, Coco Chanel, the one and only. Mm -hmm. And it's seventies. Mm. 70s it was yeah it came out. okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. interesting when we were just i was born like in 77 1976 I wasn't born yeah yet. yeah and <laughs> but Amy my sister was just, yeah. my sister was she knows yes. but my mom 
mom. She had this perfume mm -hmm. on her shelf. So it reminds me of my mom. Yeah, this is for nights, yeah, mostly. Mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. And um, if you um, can, could you please write us, is somebody still wear this perfume? Like I bought this perfume for my mom and sent to Russia and mm. she was really appreciated and she still like it. Uh, this is really last long like perfume. If you put it on, you, you can wear it like probably just, especially if it comes on your clothes, like it, it will be stay mm. like with you for a long time. Mm. Yeah, but I bought it just like a reminder myself, like for mm. some time, mm -hmm. what would you wear it? I would wear it on a date night. Mm -hmm. like I would wear it for going out, mm -hmm. going on a date. Oh yeah, it's just beautiful and you will remember this perfume forever for sure. Mm -hmm. I really like this yeah. one. Yeah. Another perfume, Allure. And it's like a masterpiece. I believe uh, lots of uh, you know this, but I, I accidentally choose another one, like it's, it's essential. And original one is just uh, Allure. And this is 90s. Okay, we just slowly um, making our way goes yes. from one time to another. This is Ooh. first one, Allure. I just got my fingerprints on it. <laughs> and it's another one, Sensual. Which one do you like more? Oh, that's tough. Tough, yeah. I have elephant on second floor. If you hear them, <laughs> like, just ignore it. It's just our 10 years old like boy. <laughs> he can't get asleep. Tomorrow is Saturday. <laughs> I think I like this one. Sensual. Mm -hmm. And it's, again, it's why we were born in the same day, like January 1st. Oh, do you I like would... the sensual? Yeah. And, okay, keep sensual in your uh, hands. And then I'll show you mm. something. This is Eau de, de Toilet, which I bought a little bit later. But first of all, I bought this one. And this is um, from, I think... Uh, 2000, maybe 11. It's like a nine year old bottle. You can compare, see how it's darker color. Yeah, and this is all that perfume. You can smell this and tell me, like, how mm. this is different than this one. The only word to describe it is muskier. It's, it's, um, more cologne, darker. more of a cologne. Yeah, darker. Yeah, yeah warmer. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I love this perfume. First perfume is nice for um, like any any time. Like a, you can wear it like any seasons. This is the best for fall. Mm hmm. I could see that for sure. Mm -hmm. It's very nice. Have to buy this one for sure. This is really nice, and I prefer sensual allure. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And perf in perf in in other perfum. Okay, another one. Mm -hmm. Okay, we go to sixties. <laughs> back and forth, <laughs> back and forth. <laughs> Chanel number nineteen. Here you are. It's a green, spicy, and really like um, strong. Sweet. You feel sweet. That's so interesting. It 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 has so many different sweet and bitter. I don't know. Like it's like sweet baby powder or sweet. Like I asked Sophia. She's thirteen year old. Always about my perfume scent. But she likes something. She said, "Oh, it's a baby baby powder. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a powder." Uh -huh. It's nice. It's very mm -hmm. nice. It's very hard to describe. Yeah, and keep it, keep it with okay. yourself. And in, and then in two thousand nine, they made another perfume uh, again, nineteen. And you can see I wear it. Like I love it. 
I have this one for myself. I like it, but I love powder. Like, I would tell this is more like modern. Mm hmm. Yeah. That this is, is such... easier, easier to yeah. wear. That one hits me in a lot of different ways. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. nice. It's very nice. And I know for sure I will buy this again because I love it. Mm -hmm. And you know what is best time to buy Chanel in Christmas time? This time I bought like two Chanel and this like about $30 off. Of in the bay. Yes, the bay. The bay, the bay yeah. <laughs> Okay, and if you were like, what would you choose this or this, like for yourself? Ooh. This one. This one. Mm -hmm. And how you pronounce it? Powder or powder? Like what? Powder. Powder. Uh, if it's in mm, French. French. I think. You know what? I'm not. Sh I would say poudre, but poudre. this one it has a little accent aigu, uh, so it would be poudre. But I don't. I don't think so. I think it's poudre. Mm -hmm. I could be wrong. For all my um, French because people out there, I apologize if I pronounced <laughs> it wrong. Because when I when I went to um, the bay first time, I asked like powder, and she said poudre. Poudre. Yeah. She, 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 she mm -hmm. corrected me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and I should show you like my favorite, favorite, and I have two bottles, and one is almost like Amy will tell, like, yeah. I can't wait to smell like, this one. This um, uh, in my in my bed bedroom, I'll show you like I, I showed you, yeah. This this I have like, and this is like almost uh, full. This is my favorite 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 perfume <laughs> it's a crystal can you can you tell it can you pronounce it crystal owl owl, owl version crystal over over mm -hmm. crystal over it's like velvet i can't yeah the r is in the back of the throat velvet okay we will but see. i'm, I'm we not will. the we best we will. pronunciation <laughs> myself i wasn't you know, born uh, speaking uh, French. Uh, I was uh, in French immersion, so I'm not the best. Uh, but how would you? Uh, that. That. <laughs> <laughs> we'll work on it. Yeah. You'll they, you'll teach me Russian. To... Oh yeah. And I'll I teach will. you French. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love it. This one is like little fairies it's, dancing. It's really like yeah. It's really Very light. light. Yes. Um. You know when when you wanna just fly. I don't know. Like, like sometimes, um, can you can you tell me like if you adult and you still fly when you dream, like when you sleep? I do. I do. Yes. I do too. Yes. Yes. What is what is like? Mm. Sometimes like I heard that when if you fly when you kids, you just grown up. But but I'm not grown grow. I'm not grow up, like, but, but what's, what's going on? You're Peter Pan. Yeah. You never want to grow up. Why? Yeah. I think it's a great thing if you can fly in your dreams, especially if you can, this is another topic, but if you can, if you know you're dreaming, sometimes I know I'm dreaming and then I decide to fly. If I could do anything. How? <gasps> Tell I'm going to fly. I'm dreaming. I'm going to fly. How do you fly? Do you Just remember? Go up in the air and... I can tell you how I, I fly. Oh, I'm very excited for this. <laughs> it's it's really easy. When you sleep, I just raise my hands. I just raise my hands and I fly. I just I just go up. I'm gonna try this. And then I I honestly I hold my hands like this mm -hmm. and I just go down and I see water. I see what is underwater. I can I can see. Do land. you go underwater? No, no. I just fly. Like, wow! I just fly. So you know, see you land. know when you're dreaming and you decide to fly. I'm not sure if I know that I, I'm dreaming, but, but I, you just it's, re it's really it's really real, and I remember to. it, and I remember it. 
That's amazing. You know that this oh, does wow. mean something. I have books on dreams and I study I study dreams and dream interpretation, dream analysis. This means something. And I'm going to read about this mm -hmm. and get back to you. And it's why, uh, honestly, I know like I'm adult, but I still remember, like I still believe in fairy tale. I, I still remember that, that if you believe in, um, like a, in a magic in your life, it happens. Because you create, you create your life, like you, by your thinking, your feeling, like, and you, your emotions. And it's why this perfume, like, again, coming to this topic. This is a very good way to sell this, this perfume. Is, <laughs> this is about me. This is like, um, like a clean, fresh water. I mean, this what? one out of all the perfumes, I think I need to buy this one because this one is like magic. It is, and it's really hard to find. It's really hard to find, but we still in Canada like have a store, a great store. <laughs> Are you talking about the bay? The bay, the yeah. Bay. Yeah. And Magical I love store. it. <laughs> and I love it because they still have it. Just for one sixty nine and I and I bought it like in the Christmas time I bought it like about one twenty nine. I can't nice. believe it. Yeah. Yes. And I was like, I was like, my, my, my husband, Dmitri will just tell, yes, she did. I almost jumped in. Like, I was just, just, <laughs> it's oh, I get it, I get it. I get it. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it's like in the Christmas time, we are like a favorite, like for our family, because it's not just Christmas time. It's our best birthdays and it's just mm -hmm. new year. <laughs> you can do whatever you want and buy whatever you want. <laughs> okay, guys. You mean perfume? <laughs> I mean perfume. Yes. Yeah. This is my my hundred percent so nice yeah okay and then okay when you wanna go out and you just like a lady 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 what you going to wear i know what to tell you if you buy <laughs> coco noir Ta -da. very curious about this one i haven't smelled this yeah. one and i have lotion if you want to ever, ever have perfume which is which last long, buy perfume and lotion or even cream, like something like that. Mm -hmm. For sure. Cream. What do you think about it? I love this one. I really, really love this mm -hmm. one. Um, very warm notes. Um, it's a, it's a, a very classy, elegant scent it's mm -hmm. like for a lady and i think it's um like a it's not like time and like bark time and like remind you it's like a really modern and it's just mm -hmm. it doesn't matter or like, timeless yeah There's yeah no timeless time. i really like this word <laughs> yes yeah and another perfume which is i have into Ooh. into <laughs> um okay girls and ladies and my friends um if you really like chanel i really recommend you to get like purse like um var, var, like a sample like it's um twist and spray it's just 20 mil no just just twist twist and spray Ooh. twist and spray <laughs> twist and spray yeah so easy <laughs> it's original one it's a Coco Mademoiselle. Ooh, this is nice. This is very nice. Yeah. And they have three, it's a 60 ml. Each bottle has a 20 ml like this. And you just, it's easy. Easy to put it in. And you can have it like just in your purse and you can travel with it it's really really easy that's yeah. awesome mm -hmm. <laughs> you can spray this and i'll show you intense which is was like from 2018 this is just from 2001 and Ooh. it's still uh the most mm. popular perfume ever ever uh, has been like bought for presents. Men always choose Coco Mademoiselle for presents. Wow. Yeah, it's a topic. Like it's, um, it's very nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is um, 
favorite perfume, my, my friend's favorite mm -hmm. perfume. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this one is from 2018. No, no, keep it, keep it, keep it. This, uh, I lost uh, it. Okay. <laughs> Probably this one. <laughs> Yeah, is it this one? Mm -hmm. And this is intense. 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 Okay. okay. Yeah. This is Coco Mademoiselle too, but intense. Mm. And I have a fifty mil. What do you think? It's very nice. It's very nice. You would, I would only just do a, like a, like a tiny, a little bit. tiny, tiny mm -hmm. little bit if I'm going to use this one. Can you tell like what is, what do you feel when you like when you smell it? Mm, I don't want to sound like repetitive, but it's it's very warm. It's it's mm -hmm. sensual, sensual um, yeah. feminine. Yeah, feminine, sexy, sort of mm -hmm. going out at night. Why men like um, usually like it, it's I know for sure buy this one for their ladies like for, for their ladies like for their girls. Why? Mm, because of name, because, but the Mademoiselle. Why? Yeah, Mademoiselle. It's like very yeah. respectful, classy, like your lady. Mm -hmm. You know. But smell. I think it's like, like because of uh flowers and fruities mm -hmm. it's the most like um and patchouli and yes really like patchouli thank you <laughs> that's what it is i think it is <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's very nice yeah mm -hmm. and if you for example are you just to look at them like what what would you buy like what would you choose like out of all of them mm -hmm. like for example let let's say about three Number one, mm -hmm. you will buy this one. First. I would definitely buy this one, mm -hmm. um, just because of all the the beautiful things we talked about, magic and fairy tales. You can still believe even when you're an adult. And honestly, I want to tell you that it's um, it's simple. It's it's not um, bells and whistles and flowers and yeah, yeah. it's very simple. And it's it's really simple smell. Like it's it, you won't like tell like oh it's something like oh, dark and just wow no it's it just it just makes you feel easy light light mm -hmm. yeah because I wear it like even like for sport wear like mm -hmm. it's, it's, yeah. every day mm -hmm. every day yeah it's so nice like enjoyable like it's so nice and another one and. I would probably go with ooh. Okay. <laughs> number five. I love number five. Mm -hmm. I really and it's do. Like, Audi Premier? Yes. Audi Premier. Au Premier. Mm -hmm. Yes. This one is so nice. Okay, second and one. Second one. And so now you know, five. I think. Ooh. Maybe. Alu. Yes. Sensual. This is a beautiful smell. It's very sensual, like the name says. Um, and it, um, again, it's nice and light. And I, I would actually wear it for day wear. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. And what do you think about age? Like, is it matters that so many people, like and I, women actually, telling me that it's like Chanel, it's for elderly people like elderly ladies like not for young you know I've never followed that I've always kind of mm -hmm. gone to I the beat of my own drum and I, I used to wear my mom's Coco Chanel and um, you can start your own trends you know you yeah. can you can do what you want and other people will follow it's <laughs> like what I want to tell you follow yourself mm -hmm. and then you will be original one Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's very who, true. who we are actually mm -hmm. that's very true yes what about you what would you choose top three um you will be surprised okay <gasps> oh my goodness gracious one <laughs> second one okay yeah and it's exactly eau de parfum not eau de tatole mm -hmm. and also be honest, this one. 19? 
19 uh, pudder. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Fourth. Fourth. It's why, you know, like you will tell me, Elena, why then you have like Chanel number five, three of them. I will tell because. <laughs> because I love it too. Like, and like, honestly, like I have them for all. And I wear them like when I feel like differently. Mm -hmm. Depends and on your mood. Can you imagine like how many moods I have? <laughs> According you to can't that. even count the moods of Elena. <laughs> yeah, honestly. It's true. Okay, um, thank you for watching and thank, thank you for you. coming. Thank you, thank you for having me yeah. again. Oh yeah, so thank nice. you so much. You are so helpful <laughs> and I feel really comfortable with Yay. you and so happy that you came that makes over. Sense. Yeah, next time we are going to talk about something and <laughs> you'll have to stay tuned. Yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, I think so.